React is the guy that she tells you not to worry about. Over 69% of JavaScript developers use React. Nice. And it's consistently seen as the best JavaScript framework. All a framework is, is it makes a language easier to write. For example, let's say we want to make a counter app because we don't know how to count. This is what it would look like in JavaScript. We'd have to set the counter, display the counter, and then increment the button and then do all of this for a simple piece of code. And as you can see, it's quite redundant because it's a lot of code. It's pretty ugly for very little code. In addition, you'll have to make the HTML file and display this JavaScript. And on the other hand, here is the React code for the exact same features. And all we had to do here was import use state from React, which is like a hook, and then just write this as your JavaScript code. And as you could see at the bottom, right? Like this looks like HTML, right? Because it is. And as you can see, the HTML works and the JavaScript functionalities work as well. So what I'll be doing in this video is sharing with you what I did to be a React developer. Because honestly, if you want a front end job or even full stack job, you will need to know React. However, you will know exactly what you need to do once you're done this video. Now, the first aspect of learning React is that you have understood JavaScript. Now, you don't have to be a absolute, you know, insane genius Linux type of JavaScript developer before going into React, but at least know some JavaScript. The amount of people I have seen go straight into React, not learn JavaScript and think to themselves, oh, I'm going to be a good developer is honestly stupid. Imagine trying to ride a bike without going with training wheels first. Honestly, it's a recipe for disaster. However, if you want to get hurt, go right away. But for most of us, we're sane, regular people and we don't want that to happen to us. So trust me, just learn the fundamentals of JavaScript, understand how it works. You don't have to be perfect, but just understand the basics, what a function is, what a for loop is, what an API is and how you can call it. And I know, I know you want to go straight into React because it looks a little easier. But trust me when I say this, everything in JavaScript is in React. So basically, you know, everything you apply in React, whatever you see on the screen comes from JavaScript. And without knowing JavaScript, you will significantly hold yourself back from understanding React and improving at the things you want to improve. So don't be like these people that just go straight into JavaScript understand and I understood JavaScript first. So the next thing that I did to learn React was a short course. Now there is a lot of courses online, you know, you could buy someone's course, there's YouTube free code camp, all this stuff. But what I recommend you do is just go to YouTube, go online and just pick something. And honestly, I'll go with you. Just go look up React course and you'll find a ton. Honestly, I recommend programming with Mosh. Amazing guy. This is an hour long and you will learn a lot about React in an hour. Also, if you want to go a little bit deeper, there's this platform called Full Stack Open, which I highly, highly recommend for anyone who wants to learn React. They cover everything from like the fundamentals of web applications, introduction to React, and even go into like TypeScript and stuff like that. It's very powerful. And where a lot of people mess up here is that they think that the course is the part where they will be pros. I ain't a genius, but you're not gonna learn React through a one hour course or some, you know, programming thing online. That will come in the next step, but this part, right? Once you've understood JavaScript and you've taken a short course, by now you should just understand the fundamentals of React. You understand what is going on to some extent, but you may still like be suffering by the struggles of React. So now it's time to get good at React. You may be saying, Nizar, I understand some React, but how am I gonna actually get good at this? I'm struggling big time. I really hate my life. Here is where the tutorials come in. When I tell you this is an absolute cheat code to learning React, it is an understatement. What you want to do is go to YouTube and look up React tutorial. Pick two, three, or even four if you want, and just follow the tutorial. Right here, this one's really cool because you, you get like a little bit of education while also building something. Or maybe you build like a landing page with React. All I'm saying is that there is a ton of things out there that you can use to build your React applications and learn React. However, one thing to note in this tutorial section, don't copy it fully. Instead, what you want to do and what I started doing, which totally changed the trajectory of my learning experience, was follow some of the tutorials but add things 
to it. So maybe in this tutorial where this guy builds like a simple landing page for a food place, maybe change the image here, maybe change the colors, the design, the text font. There's a lot of things to change, but what will happen here is like not only will you be building things that you can put on your portfolio, but you will also build things on your own because you are changing things up. And this is the part I messed up on because for like two or three tutorials, I just copied it through and through hoping to see results. But honestly, you will you will not see the results you want to see and improvement that you want to see if you just follow tutorials. Instead, do what I did and just build things alongside them. Copy some of it, but then add your own twist to it. It's honestly a lot of fun and you tend to just build things that you actually want. And the final yet scariest aspect of learning React, guys, is your own projects. Saying projects to a new developer is like their Grim Reaper. We tend to get super scared. We act like little Gilberts when we have to hear that we have to go on our own and build our own things. And look, I understand that it's quite scary to build your own projects and really just be in the fire you could say but i'm telling you you are ready to do this once you've done a couple of tutorials you've done a short course and you've understood javascript you are ready to go and okay you're not going to be the top web developer you're not going to be the freaking linux of react you're not going to be building these crazy applications but what you will be at this point is that you kind of understand react and you know what you need to do so for example right in our counter applications you may not know what this code does but you understand what you need to look up like maybe you're like oh okay i know what use state is let me look up how use state works and because you looked it up and you kind of understood what it what meant before you can look at it read the documentation and then apply it into your own projects. The whole point in this section is to improve at your abilities, be able to research on your own, run into errors and solve them on your own. Honestly, no one wants to tell you this and I wish someone told me this earlier, but you should be suffering here. It's supposed to be difficult, but they say that diamonds are made from pressure and you will become a beautiful, beautiful diamond because you suffered and went through the pressure of building your own projects. I spent like a month building projects, but that's just me. You could spend more less, doesn't really matter, but just spend some time in this projects, really understanding what's going on with your react code, researching, talking to people, watching more videos and just immersing yourself in the language. And honestly, this is all you need to learn react. Obviously it's a lifelong journey. I'm not going to be cringy, but understand JavaScript, watch a short course, do a short course like on YouTube or uh, full stack open, which I highly recommend. Do some tutorials, two to three from YouTube, copy them, but add your own twist to them eventually. And then finally, just build your own projects. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, by the way, I have a Discord channel. It's in the description if you want to join. We have a bunch of people in it. We have like 190 or something like that. Amazing community if you're new. We're, we're totally immersive. We help each other out. And if you want a community where you can talk to people, you know, have fun, share your code, share your experiences and struggles, then I feel like, you know, this community is for you. It's, it's a great community. It's called like self-talk community. And, you know, look, all this text and we're all helping each other out. I'm even sharing like the keyboard I got. So, you know, stuff like that. This is really fun. But anyways, I hope you learn React, enjoy React, and get to where you want to go, all right? Happy coding, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.